Tonight we are live at Lakeland Linder International Airport for your community connection. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, has one of its key operations here. The Hurricane Hunters moved to Lakeland from McDill in 2017. And I got a chance to see the aircraft right up close and learn more about their missions to help keep you and us informed throughout the storm season. So we're here today with Lieutenant Commander Kevin DeRemus. That's your office right there, right? It is. Tell us about it. House. This is uh, Miss Piggy, one of two P3 Orions that we uh, purposely fly into some of the worst weather in the country. Uh, but this is a research platform and a reconnaissance platform for uh, chasing storms, and that's what we do uh, during the hurricane season. We fly anywhere between eight to 12,000 feet. Um, they call us the hurricane hunters because our goal is to hunt for the eye of the storm. Miss Piggy was built in about 1976. Um, there are some 1976 original pieces to it, but for the most part, they've been rebuilt and fixed up and repaired and improved over the years. Stronger wings. Much so. Replaced all the wings, the tails, and the engines just a few years ago. We are inside the P-3. This is the plane that goes into the Hurricane. It's a very customizable airplane. Uh, you can see all the different stations here are on tracks. We can move them around as needed. All these racks have things that can pull out and come in when we have new equipment that wants to fly on board. Uh, but some of the most important stuff in the airplane is in the back. That's the coffee maker, the refrigerator, <laughs> and the toilet. So we've got some pretty long flights, uh, eight to 10 hour mission flights. So you want to have all the kind of accoutrements of a, uh, a normal life. You got a, a, a microwave. There's a we small got a kitchen back there. Yeah. What is uh, the typical flight? Is it eight to 10 hours? On minutes? average, it's eight to 10 hours. Yep. Sometimes when the storms are really far away, they're a little bit longer. Sometimes when they're close to land, they're a little bit shorter. So this is where our AVAPS operator sits. So the AVAPS operator has a very important job. Uh, they control this, uh, this device right here, which takes drop sons like these on the chair. It's basically a weather balloon in reverse. We launch it out of the airplane, it sends back temperature, pressure, humidity, dew point, and wind speed, all the way from the airplane down to the surface of the water. And we'll launch 40 to 50 of those in a flight and all the different quadrants of the storm. So the Hurricane Center and the Hurricane Research Division has a good picture of what's going on in the storm in real time. The stations that we're looking at here are typically where our scientists will sit, um, scientists from either the Hurricane Center or the Hurricane Research Division. Uh, and they have all sorts of displays where they can see all the different data streams coming in um, in real time. And we've got the flight director station right here. So this is our in-flight meteorologist, a very critical member of the team. They are able to look at all the different weather radars, take inputs from the science team. And so they can make some really, really interesting tactical decisions. In a commercial airliner for folks at home, they have meteorologists on the ground that are in contact with the pilots to tell them to fly around storms, that type of thing. You've got that set up right here. You're looking at the science, you're looking at where you are, and you're making those decisions on board in real time. Absolutely, yeah. We have just such a wealth of knowledge right here in this part of the airplane that helps uh, inform and make us, help us make informed decisions uh, when we're in a pretty challenging environment. Kermit and Miss Piggy are the names. There's two of those P3s. You know when we're showing you all those spaghetti models, all that you love to see that when we're forecasting storms, right? Spaghetti plots going. The data that comes from those planes goes into those models. It shows where the storm is now, what the storm is right, right now. That's what we need. Then we run the computer weather models on that data, and that helps us get a better forecast. So we're very thankful for all the work that they